China is a very, very important market for us. It's the biggest market uh, for Mercedes-Benz, and we're doing excellent uh, in the market. So we're starting now to roll out our uh, pipeline of products, electric products, in the market. And uh, so we're in the start there, but we're continuously now this year basically coming with new products in China and also conquering uh, part of the EV segment in this important market. And what, how, how, what about the U.S.? Because clearly the U.S. is the second biggest important market and there is also a climate initiative, but there's also a bit of a protectionist movement, even with the new Biden administration when it comes to cars. So how are you doing there? Well, uh, we are in production in the U.S. So about 25 years ago, we started to invest in the U.S. with our own production on passenger cars and vans. And actually, this year will mark the year where we start our electric uh, EVs coming out of our U.S. plant in Alabama. So this is going to be a major milestone, our new um, electric uh, SUVs coming out of the U.S., including battery plants. So it's not only an investment in the past for passenger cars, but also for batteries, which we are inaugurating also this year. So we're covering the entire value chain of EV vehicles in the U.S. That's why we look very confident uh, in talking to the administration as well there. Schaefer also spoke about the supply chain challenges that the automaker faced last year and into this year. Semiconductors kept us busy, uh, actually day and night, the purchasing team, logistic team, production team, they did an awesome job, including sales. But I believe it um, might continue into the first half in 2022. So there's a lot of focus and the task forces will continue to work on semiconductors, even going into uh, 2022 there. But we're getting more involved in the supply chain of semiconductors with new agreements with semiconductor suppliers, new contracts, and much more focus on semiconductors in the future, including the selection of hardware, which uh, we did not do in the past. So this would be a new focus. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.